Okay, now for question number seven from S1, June 2018, the International A-Level paper, Statistics 1. A question about probabilities um, and Venn diagrams, I guess. Events A and B are such that the probability of A occurring is 0.5 and the probability of A occurring giving, given B is two-thirds and the probability of A complement union with B complement equals 0.6. And we've got to use this information to find the probability of B. Okay, now when I deal with questions to do with Venn diagrams or with probability, I really do like um, to use Venn diagrams to um, illustrate what's going on. It makes it a lot, whole lot more easier to understand. So we've got set A and set B. Okay, let me just draw these in here. It's a bit smaller. Okay, so we got set A and set B. Let me make it in blue. Okay. All right, so set A and set B. Okay, what do we know so far? From this information, what we know is the probability of A is 0.5. So this whole circle is 0.5. I can't write that down anyway right now because it includes both of these areas. The probability of A given B is two-thirds. Okay, what does that mean? Well, I'll sh what, what it means in, in terms of this, it means when you're considering only B, then the part of A, okay, um, the part of A, that's the probability of, of um, A given B is two-thirds. So this divided by the whole of that is equal to two-thirds. So that basically what that means in terms of um, what we have to calculate, that means the probability of the intersection of A and B divided by the probability of B is what that means, and that's equal to two-thirds. That's what that means. So it's basically we're only considering B, and this area, which is the part of A, which is the part of A that's inside B, divided by all of B is equal to two-thirds. That's what that means. That's what this actually means. Okay, and the probability of A complement union B complement is equal to 0 0.6. Okay, what that actually means is A complement union B complement means that everything outside of A is all of this. Okay, everything outside of A. Union with everything outside of B. So union is like the easy one. It's not strict. So if it's included in this part, it's in. And you have to just add what's included in this part to it. So everything outside of A means everything out here. Okay, so only A is not included. And then everything outside of B means everything outside here, without counting any area twice. So the only place that has not been included is this. Okay, so this is the same as saying the probability of um, A intersection B complement. Okay, so it's the probability of A intersection B complement. Everything outside of uh, the intersection of A and B. That's the only thing that's not included. So that means that the probability of A intersection B, the probability of A intersection B must be what's left over between 0 0.6 and 1 because the whole probability is 1. So that means this area here must be 0 0.4. Okay, now that's going to help us. Because once we know that this is 0 0.4, and we know the probability of A is 0 0.5, then this area must be 0 0.1. Okay, so that's going to help us with that. Okay, and what we're left to do now is to find what the probability of B is. Okay, so what we can do here is we can actually use this formula here to find the probability of B. Okay, we can use it using this formula. Alright, um, so let's go ahead and do that. Because I know, I know the probability of A in section B, okay, and I know the probability of A given B. That's the only thing I don't know. So I can rearrange that and find the probability of B. So we can say the probability of A, into A given B is two-thirds. So we can say two-thirds is equal to the probability of A in section B, which is, as we said, 0 0.4. So we're going to have 0 0.4, okay, divided by the probability of 
B, which is what we have to find. Okay, so we can say that the probability of B by cross multiplication, the probability, sorry, of B is it's going to be 3 times 0 0.4 divided by 2. 3 times 0 0.4 divided by 2. So therefore the probability of B is going to be 3 over 2 times 2 fifths. Let's just use a calculator. So you're going to have 3 times 0 0.4 divided by 2. 3 times 0 0.4 divided by 2, which gives you 3 fifths. The probability of B is 3 fifths, which is 0 0.6. Okay, that you can say 0 0.6. Alright, if that's 0 0.6, the whole thing, then this part must be 0 0.2. And what's outside, that's 0 0.4 plus 0 0.2, which is 0 0.6, plus that's outside is going to be 0 0.3. Okay, so we have, um, I'm just filling in the rest of the space in case we need it in other parts of the question. I like to use the Venn diagram to complete the whole thing and it helps us with other parts of the question maybe. So the, now it says find the probability of A complement given B complement. So what does that mean again? Well, basically if we look in the Venn diagram what it means is find the probability so basically the, the, the sample space we're looking at is everything outside of B. This part is a sample space. This is We're only limiting ourselves to what's B complement. So we're only looking at what's outside of B. Okay, and we want to find the part that's um, outside of B, but it must also be outside of A. So what's outside of A and also outside of B? Okay, it's 0 0.3. So we're looking at the sample space, we're only considering, let me just put this with the uh, highlighter pen. I don't think I need this section anymore. Okay, let me change the highlighter pen. Okay, so we're only considering the part which is outside of B. Okay, we're not considering anything that's inside of B because it says given outside of B. So let me just highlight the section that we're considering. Everything outside of B. Of course, it has to be inside the Venn diagram. So, no. so this is all outside of B. Okay, I'm just trying to illustrate what this means. Okay, unfortunately this has got a bit... Does it cross it out? Should do. Yep. I'm lagging a bit here, unfortunately. Okay, it's a bit better. Okay. So now, what we have here Oh, you get the idea. Anyway, so basically we're only considering this area which is outside of B. That's the sample space. And we've got to find the probability of A. So we've got to look at anything that's outside of A and also outside of B, okay, which is just this 0 0.3 part. So it's 0 0.3 divided by 0 0.4. Okay, 0 0.3 divided by 0 0.4. Okay, so there we have... Um, the answer. So it's basically going to be this part divided by 0 0.4. Okay, because the part of A, the part that's outside of A, but also inside of the part that's outside of B, 0 0.3, divided by everything outside of B, which is 0 0.4. So you get 0 0.3, okay, divided by 0 0.4. Okay, which is 3 quarters. So that's part B, 3 quarters, 0 0.75. Okay, we could have done it, um, well, we could have shown our steps a bit better. We could have said that's equal to the probability of A, sorry about this, A complement intersection B complement divided by the probability of B complement. That's what we just did, basically. B complement. We could have done it um, basically just algebraically so we could have done it in that way okay a complement intersection b complement basically means um, everything that's outside of a and b okay it's the same as a union b complement okay so it's outside so it's basically the 0 0.3 divided by the 
probability of B complement and everything outside of B is 0 0.4. So, of course, you get the same answer. Okay, so that's part P, that's part B done. I think I need to restart, so I'll do part C and D in the next video.